Welcome to CoreLogic's update on housing market conditions for October 2019, brought to you on behalf of Credit Union SA. The housing market made further progress towards a recovery in September, with CoreLogic's National Home Value Index recording the third consecutive month of gains, lifting the national value of housing by a cumulative 1.7% since the market found a floor in May 2019. The month-on-month -month lift of 0.9% in national housing values was the largest monthly gain since March 2017. Although housing values are now consistently tracking higher, at least at a macro level, the national index remains 6.8% below the October 2017 peak, indicating the buyers still have some time to take advantage of the improved housing affordability before values return to record highs. The September gains were once again driven by stronger conditions emanating from Sydney and Melbourne, where dwelling values increased by 1.7% over the month. Australia's two largest cities have seen a rapid bounce back in home values over the past two months, with Sydney up a cumulative 3.3% and Melbourne up 3.2% in August and September alone. Housing values remain almost 12% below the July 2017 peak in Sydney and about 8% below Melbourne's November 2017 peak. Brisbane and Canberra were the only other capital cities to record a rise in dwelling values over the month, while conditions held firm in Adelaide. Values were down slightly in Hobart and continued their long run of losses in Perth and Darwin. Most of the regional markets recorded a rise in September with regional South Australia and regional Western Australia, the only rest of state areas to record a drop in values. While all regions are benefiting from low mortgage rates and improved access to credit, strong economic and demographic conditions in Sydney and Melbourne help to explain the overperformance in these markets, despite housing affordability being challenging in these areas. Another factor driving the strength in Sydney and Melbourne property markets could be higher levels of investor participation. The latest housing finance data from the ABS shows investors comprised 32% of mortgage demand across New South Wales and 26% of Victorian mortgage demand, which is higher relative to any of the states or territories. Nationally, investors comprise around a quarter of mortgage demand, well down from the recent record highs of 43% set back in 2015 and well below the long-term average, which shows investors typically comprise about one-third of mortgage demand. With capital gains picking up and the narrowest spread on record between yields and mortgage rates, we're likely going to be seeing investor activity rising. Adelaide housing values held firm in September as the market stabilised following a soft patch where values slipped lower over six of the past nine months. Values are down by 0.6% over the September quarter and they're 1.1% lower over the past 12 months. Steady values are being accompanied by a rise in buyer activity amidst relatively low listing numbers. With buyers more active and a 7% reduction in new stock being added to the market compared with the same time last year, buyers are likely to be facing some competition which is likely to support a gradual rise in Adelaide housing values. The September housing market results provide further confirmation the housing market recovery is in full swing across Sydney and Melbourne, while the remaining capital cities and regional areas are showing a mixed result. Low mortgage rates and the expectation that rates will move even lower, along with better affordability and a loosening in credit rules, as well as improved housing sentiment, are all factors contributing to the rebound. A variety of other indicators outside of our hedonic index are pointing towards further strength in the housing market, including auction clearance rates, which are continuing to track around the mid to high 70% range, with the results remaining high on larger volumes. The correlation between the auction success rate and housing values is holding true with the strength in auction markets providing a timely insight into the fit between buyer and seller pricing expectations. Amidst a rise in buyer activity, advertised stock levels are lower, which is creating some urgency amongst buyers. The number of listings across the capital cities is 10% lower than a year ago, and fresh listings being added to the market are 15% lower than a year ago. As buyer activity rises, the lack of available stock could see a renewed sense of FOMO supporting further price growth. Clearly, mortgage demand is rising, with the most recent housing finance data reporting a substantial lift in both owner-occupier and investor housing finance commitments. 
Although ABS data is only current to July, the number of mortgage-related valuation events across CoreLogic platforms has been trending higher consistently, implying a further lift in housing credit through August and September. Policymakers and regulators appear to be comfortable with the housing rebound to date. Potentially improved housing values and activity will help to boost consumer attitudes and fuel spending as well as ease the downturn in residential construction activity. However, household debt levels reached new record highs relative to their incomes over the June quarter, suggesting the sector is vulnerable to a shock or changes in household circumstances. With official interest rates falling to new record lows in October and mortgage rates continuing to reduce, we're likely to see further upwards pressure on housing prices over the coming months. If you'd like to explore the trends further, you can find a lot more research on housing market conditions at www.corelogic.com.au.